Hello. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the Garden District, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, right? It's just a question of concentration. Oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? You oh, can't be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programs out here. What did he say? How do you know? Why don't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming here? But the place is a mess. We have to clean up. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's He's coming. coming. Uncle Jack's coming. That's the spirit. <laughs> Let's show Uncle Jack just how much we love him. What happened to you? Um, if I search their body, I think they're gonna freak out. Right, so two rare records somewhere in this area. Is it trespassing to be in here? It is. Uh oh. I don't think there's much I can do? Like, this is a lethal weapon. I can't craft any other weapons. I think I just gotta beat them all. Oh, you're dying from your wounds. Mm -hmm. Now I see what the boys like about fighting. Ooh, axe. That's going to be so much better than what we have. Right, I just killed them all. I'm just, you know, trying to be non-lethal. Forget that. I did that as Arthur. It was kind of slow. Honestly, I'm just going to chop everybody to death. Um, let's pick a good weapon. It's probably going to be the axe. Oh, they're almost broken. Yeah, how do they compare? Just looking at the stats, which I've learned don't really accurately represent the weapon at all. Mm, Cleaver does less damage but also less effort and more speed. Moderate damage causes bleeding. Massive damage hit multiple targets. Oh wait, this is a heavy weapon, so we can't use that. Yep. Alright, cleaver it is. It's not gonna last very long. See, I kind of want your stuff. I'm calling. Shit. Better you than me. I know it's fucked up to kill these people, but I'm I'm just playing differently for this playthrough. All right, back to a cricket bat. Vomit bomb. Meh. 
lily bulb inside of this. Somebody making like lily bulb tea? Is that any good? I don't know. You're not the bloody hell. I you're not my neighbor. There's the one that's done it. There they are. Get Sleep. them. Three miles. <laughs> Didn't even turn around. Oh, what fun. Can I find a better quality axe? Especially... Oh, the winning argument! Wait, that's a heavy weapon, isn't it? No! It's about to break, though. Like, really, really, really soon. But yeah, especially this early in the game, I think I actually should loot more stuff, because I don't have anything. Okay. Well, with all of that done, I guess I'll just go back here. Um, can we not fast travel back to our house? Because it's not an access hatch. Huh. Well, let's go back here, get the milk, and then go back home, because I think by then we'll have to take care of Gwen. Just like childbirth. You barely remember the misery. Is that true? I don't know, I've never had a baby. Yeah, these are so close to breaking. I feel like there's no point in keeping them. There really is no point in keeping them. The frying pan, is this heavy? It is heavy, can't use that. Don't know if there's some point in keeping it. Could you potentially craft a heavy weapon into a non-heavy weapon? Probably not. But, meh. Can I craft anything now? I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. Mm. Examide pill. Oh, that's for food poisoning. Still basically nothing. Sally Boyle! I hope you find me Uncle Jack record. Me borrower's been pestering me. I have indeed. You're a brillo! Milk you shall have! Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed the state of some of these things when they come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. Some sort of uh, water feeder for, for birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't over water, but I keep forgetting to water at all. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, I, I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit. Come back in a couple days. Need to craft the milk, and then, I imagine, probably give it to the baby. Baby milk. Takes tinned milk... In pure water. <sighs> Gwen's got something to eat at least. Requires water filter. Oh, it runs out. Can I make one? Now nah, we'll figure it out later. Here we go, darling. Baby milk. You won't believe what mommy had to do to get this for you. Well, I'll never tell you, frankly. Can now go back to adventures with a light heart. Now. 
Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lads is, uh, wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for them. Oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lads is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true though, Mum, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Cashier is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, um... Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the general now, can we, lads? Ha! Uh, uh, of course he would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance, willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the cramps and they won't even remember why. Thank God I'm almost done with this new batch. Oh, we're just right up here. Super close. Okay, I'm going to head back home. Um... I have to lockpick my own door? Sounds like there's a fire. Yep. Jesus. It smells like a... <gasps> Where's the fire extinguisher? Christ almighty. Where is... Ah. Jesus, no. I don't think that patch is getting made anytime soon. Okay. First things first. How bad is the damage to the lab? The triode on the crystallizer's broken. Oh. Why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh god. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. I was really hoping I'd never have to go back there. Where is that? All the way over here. Oh, unfortunately I didn't unlock any fast travel point. I'm going to have to run all the way over there. Okay, I should unlock this one next time I get there. Let's go check on Gwen. That's not the way to go in. Yeah. Stuck on the stairs. Install baby feeder requires baby feeder. Oh, so you can make gadgets or have other people make gadgets that allows you to not have to be here all the time to feed them? Golden slumbers fill your eyes. Smiles awake when you rise. Pretty, isn't it? 
They made us memorize it at school. At the time, Mummy was far more interested in love poems. Poets ought to write some more sleep poems, don't you think? I've got nine more skill points. Let's spend it on track star. Sprint faster and longer. And hardy. More benefits from being well fed, hydrated, or rested. And picky picky. <laughs> Plants yield plus one resources. Right outside of our old house. Miss Boyle. You know there's a curfew. You don't want some Fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle? I've got a young lady out here who, um... I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? Let me go in. They're not at home. Let me take you to the station for a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. Cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. St Stop crying. I see, so... A murder-suicide. To stop the kids from having to go on the train. Oh, there's a plague victim here. Are they... they're dead. Wish I had a flashlight. not doing much. Knocking on a door? Yes, I'm afraid we've got to the end of our time. Tune in again next time for the best stick humor. See you soon. was four rubber ducks in one.
You'd never believe the day Mummy's had. Thermostat N7 triad. I think I can fix my lab. Two rubber ducks in one. That's everything. Can't see shit though. Who knows? We've got a couple optional quests here. It's kind of late though, so they might not activate during nighttime. Oh, this is what we found during that flashback. To all citizens with children, 1st of July, 1947. By the authority of the Occupation Authority, all children who will be under the age of 13 on the 22nd of July should now have been registered with a town clerk. A list of clothing and supplies we'll need for the voyage. Um, yeah, that's... I guess as soon as they saw that message, that's when they did it. They say it changes you. Kids, you know, but I'm exactly the same person I always was. That's sort of the problem in a nutshell, really. I don't think I'm strong enough to just, like... Well, never mind. Just outrun them. Okay, I'm not fighting you. Enter the Avon Puppet Theater. Okay. Oof. I'm in combat, so I can't craft anything, yeah. If I get in here, maybe they'll leave me alone? Oh god! Hmm. Okay, this is out of control. <laughs> There's too many enemies here at nighttime. Okay, I'm not gonna go back the way I came though, because I want to at least get to this shelter so I can teleport back relatively close to all this stuff. So, let's run this way! Scotch? Sure, that'll give me the water boost. Not ideal. Oh, I had clean tap water. I probably should have had that. <laughs> Stew! Actually, that'll give me an extra boost. Nope, never mind. Maybe it's like chunky stew that gives me the extra boost. Definitely should grab these while it's nighttime. I can't resist myself. It's too fun. Oh, yeah. Somebody explained what this is in a comment to me. It's called a barrage balloon. It was used, I think, during World War I, and I think for some of World War II, to protect against planes uh, bombing and the way it protects against him is apparently just the cables that go up to it physically just present a collision risk 
Of course, it doesn't go up very high. I, I imagine the ones in real life went up higher than this, but still, they were pretty limited in the height that they would go to, so later on, as better planes were developed, they become less and less useful as turns because planes would just drop bombs from higher and higher altitudes to the point where they wouldn't collide with anything. But early on, they apparently were useful. Ooh. Am I going to be able to get past you? Happy Prob to see you, Miss Boyle. Probably nice not. to see you, Miss Boyle. Guard duty again. Hello, boys. Keeping us safe. Next war can't come soon enough, if you ask me, miss. Hope mm -hmm. the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. Ah, oh, good. You lot don't appreciate the general, because all I was you drunk know, shit. Let me tell you why. Oh god, here he goes again with the elephant. Yeah, you too bloody Just gonna steal this. One fine day. Why was that pie all caps? Is it a special pie? Even when I picked it up, it was in all caps. I mean everything's in all caps in here, but no, it's just a normal pie. Alright, the military base. Will they just allow me to enter? Because I'm good friends with General? General Bing, right? Oh god, they're infected. Oh my god. Ugh. This place! I remember we encountered it as Arthur, but I couldn't go in here. Jesus Christ, there's just hordes of zombies. Probably because it's nighttime. Get down here, get down here, get down here. How do I get down there? Is there a back entrance? Do you think if I'm, like, really close to the edge, that they might accidentally fall off or something? I don't know, I'm gonna wait for them to fuck off. There's way too many of them to deal with. Mmm, there's Haworth Labs spewing its toxic fumes into the atmosphere. Let's throw a rubber duck. <laughs> They probably won't hear that. Eh, whatever. Oh. Well, I'm into combat. Let's do some crafting of medical things. Thankfully, with the double gather, I've gotten a lot of things. Just gonna make as many as I can of that. Is there something I'm missing? Can I just not go there yet? For like, quest reasons? I have a feeling it's just closed right now until I progress further or something. Let me briefly look over here. No! Go there! Okay, I'm just gonna hide out and then fast travel back, I guess. I guess there's really no shelter around this area. Well then, do I want to fast travel back? I don't. I want to do these quests. But I need a bed. I accidentally took Joy and went up here to this bunker, thinking maybe there'd be a bed in here, but there doesn't seem to be.
Multi bread, slices of pie. Yeah, look, there, pie, all caps. Weird. Oh, pure water. Bigger bangers? That's really good. The Enfield rifle? Uh, nah, that's probably considered a heavy weapon, I would imagine. Blue Molotov. Whoa. Set a lot of things on fire at once. Sets all targets aflame with long burning fire. Does damage over time and causes targets to flee. That sounds amazing. I have so many bottles, holy crap. <laughs> Too many. I just maxed out my weight. Um... Mm, yeah, this is heavy, and it weighs 10. Let's dump that. I love when you drop a bunch of things and they all just explode out of you. You know what? I'm going to power through. Even though I'm probably going to get hurt a lot. Let's try to do these quests. Even if I have to go through, like, 20 infected people. I definitely am going to have to craft more healing items, though. <laughs> You had this coming. I need another weapon pretty bad. This one's pretty close to breaking. Ooh. These are precious rowan berries. Child that's got its own. Poor Mrs. Marley. I warned her against taking vanilla and chocolate together. You can lose your balance. Oh yeah, we saw this quest from Arthur's perspective. I mean, there's not really much of a quest. It's just kind of like read the note, find out what happened to them. From reading the note, and then that's about it. Remember they tried to open up the safe by dropping it and they accidentally fell down with it. Stone soup, eh? Not a very well made safe, is it? Let's get the bigger bangers ready, because I remember when I went into this house there was just a huge group of enemies. if there's any point in really trying to be quiet because isn't everybody in the neighborhood going to come here when I start throwing bigger bangers? <laughs> Let me try to get everybody in one place, maybe. Oh, there's the blue Molotov, too. Ooh. Jesus. I guess they heard it. You're not really as close as I'd like you to be, though. Inside. Yes. I'd figure out what they want. and do it before they even had to ask. It felt safer that way. Alright, have fun. God, it feels awful to say. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wait, quest failed? Huh. Oh my god. This is a waste of 
both our time. Come out and take your medicine. What the fuck was that? Leave my friend alone. Damn. broke and that's for ditching me for the posh girls in year seven we'll probably find another one in here right my playstyle now is just complete chaos oh cleaver is it in good condition though nope it's got like a couple hits in it maybe isn't that a picture of arthur hastings Yeah, it is heavy. Right. Did I get skill points for doing the Marley quest? No. No longer need a chemistry lab to formulate basic chemicals. Very useful for us, I think. This should do it. Electrolock shocker, tranquilizer darts, advanced machine bits. Inventory expansion. Hell yes. Is that one of the good ones? Yeah, I think that's one of the really good ones. 20 pounds extra. Silo inquisitive NPCs forget about you slightly faster. Shuffle. It's a shitty shovel, and I won't be able to use it as a weapon, but I can dig stuff now. Okay. I think that's good. We gotta take care of our baby. <laughs> 